little shout out to the great state of Ohio, home to Mr. Bruss, Mr. Sullivan, and Mr. Kelly's in-laws. He loves going to Ohio, ask him all about his great stories about Ohio. If you can figure out why Ohio is the heart of it all, please let me know. Okay, here we go. So, last time we talked about adding and subtracting. Today we're going to talk about multiplying, multiplying polynomials. Uh, it's a lot like stuff you already know. Okay, that's the great thing. For example, this first one, we're going to multiply a monomial, that's one term on the outside here, times a polynomial. In this case, we have four terms. All right, this is just the distributive property. I'm going to multiply the monomial times the first term, the second term, the third, and the fourth term. So in the end, I should have four things down here. All right, this is something you already know how to do. We're just combining things uh, from 2.5 and chapter 8. So when I multiply negative 3x squared times 4x to the third, I have to multiply negative 3 times 4. That's negative 12. Then I have to multiply x squared times x to the third. Remember my uh, exponent rule. When I am multiplying, I add the exponents. So that's x to the fifth. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. x to the second times x to the second. 2 plus 2 is x to the fourth. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 x to the second times x to the, this is the first, that's 2 plus 1 is 3. x to the second, uh, negative 3 times negative 10 is a positive 30. x to the second times, well this is like x to the 0, right? If it's not written, so 2 plus 0 is x to the second. Okay, that's just multiplying polynomials. Nothing real new. Um, we're just combining stuff you already know. Now, the next thing's going to be a little bit trickier, but remember, the same thing applies. It's just building off of things you already know. A binomial times a binomial. We have two terms here and two terms here. We're going to set this up using a table. Look here, we have this table, all right? We have two terms, so I'm going to write my first two terms down here. So 2x and minus 1 for the negative 1. Then up here, 4x and 2. Now it's important that you write them in order, you know, standard form 2x, top, down, 4x, and 2. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to multiply everything up here in the relative box. So in this box it would meet here and here, so 2x times 4x, 2 times 4 is 8, x times x is x squared. This would be 2x times 2, so 2x times 2 is 4x, over here we have negative 1 times 4x, so that's negative 4x. And then last but not least, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Now if you check this out right here in the middle, these boxes, if you set it up properly, these are like terms, x's. So when I rewrite this now, I have my standard form, 8x squared. Then I look for my like terms diagonally. Well, negative 4x plus 4x, those cancel out, right? And then minus 2. So I have 8x squared minus 2. Binomial times a binomial. We could get even crazier. Binomial times a trinomial in the house. x minus 5. All right. Up here, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. I'm multiplying. x times 3x squared is 3x to the third. Remember, add exponents x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Down here, negative 5 times everything up here. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10x. And then negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Now remember, diagonally, we have like terms. So let's do it. Standard form, highest exponent first. 3x to the third. Negative 15 minus 2 is negative 17x squared. When I combine like terms, do I change the exponents? Hello? Hello? I'm talking to you. No, I don't change the exponent. I keep it. So 10x plus 4x is 14x. And then minus 20. That's a binomial times a trinomial. All right. Ooh, multiplying horizontally. Ooh, that sounds crazy. So let's do this. First of all, this says 2x minus 5 squared. 
Well, that is, oh, Sullivan, get that out of there. 2x minus 5 squared is just 2x minus 5 times itself, 2x minus 5. Now, what we were doing was we were using, uh, we were multiplying with a box. Totally perfect way to do it. If you want to do it that way, no problem whatsoever, all right? Now, what you could do, though, is you could come up here and multiply it horizontally. Now, some of you are going to know this way already. Some of you may like this way better. It's all a preference. We're not going to make you do it one way or the other. We're going to make you do it so that you learn it, all right? That's all we care about is that you learn how to do this. So, here's how I look at it. If I gave you this problem, negative 5 times 2x minus 5, could you distribute that? Sure, you would distribute negative 5 to both. What if I give you this problem? 2x times 2x minus 5, could, I, could you distribute that? Sure. This is kind of like double distribution, so let's distribute this one first. I have 2x. I'm going to distribute 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Then I'm going to distribute 2x times negative 5. That's negative 10x. Great. I distributed the first one. Now I have to distribute the second one, negative 5. So negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. Some people call that method FOIL. Perfectly acceptable. I'm not going to teach you FOIL because to me, that's one more thing you need to learn. Right now, you know how to distribute. All right? That's all we're doing. Now I need to combine my terms. I have 2 right here, so 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Boom! All right? Let's try another one. Works no different. We're just going to double distribute. Here we go. Let's double distribute down here. 2x times x to the third is 2x to the fourth. Remember, that's a 1. 2x times 2x squared is 4x to the third. 2x times negative 2x. That is negative 4x squared. 2x times 4. That is 8x. All right, done with the first one. Now we need to distribute the second one. We're distributing a negative 4. All right, here we go. Negative 4 times x to the third. Negative 4x to the third. Negative 4 times 2x. That's negative 8x squared. Negative 4 times negative 2x. That's positive 8x. And negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Now this is a hot mess, baby. Lots of stuff everywhere we got to get like terms. First of all, standard form, look for the highest exponent. Boom, right at the beginning. 2x to the fourth. I like to cross them out. Uh, thirds, I have 4x to the thirds minus 4x to the thirds. Well, those are opposites. They're canceled. Squareds, I have negative 4x squared minus 8x squared. That's negative 12x squared. Out of there, boys. 8x plus 8x, that is 16x. And last but not least, minus 16. All right, so there's two ways for you to do it. You can do it horizontally, double distribute, right? Or you could use the box. I think both are perfectly legitimate ways. Either way you want to do it is great. I think the box is an easy way to learn how to do it at first, especially when you come down to look at all these you had to multiply here. All right, so I want you to pause the video and try these. You didn't pause the video, did you? I yeah, didn't think so. All right, well, here we go. Let's try it. All right, first one I'm going to do horizontally. So I'm going to double distribute. So I'm going to distribute 2x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 4 is 8x. Then I'm going to distribute negative 4. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. And negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Combine like terms, we got them right here in the middle, but 8 and negative 8 cancel out. So we're left with 4x squared minus 16. All right, down here, I'm going to do this with a table. So uh, I got 3, I need to go down 3, and I need to go over, it looks like, 2. So that should be good, let's see. All right, so 1, 2, 3 and one, two. All right, so we got seven G squared. We got four G, 
and we got 1. And then up here we have g and negative 8. So 7g squared times g is 7g to the third. 4g times g is 4g squared. 1 times g is uh, g. Over here, 7g squared times negative 8, negative 56g squared. 4g times negative 8, negative 32g. 1 times negative 8, negative 8. Remember, nice thing about these tables, like terms are easy to spot. So, highest power goes first, 7g to the third. 4g squareds minus 56g squareds is negative 52g squareds. g minus 32g is negative 31g and minus 8. All right. So there you have it. It's math time, kiddos, so get rid of your frown. Come on and break out those pencils so you can write this stuff down. No, this ain't English class. You can't just be catching some Z's because this stuff we about to tell you is going to make your life a breeze. Sign, cosine, tangent, it all goes by so fast. But now it's time to do some boiling. It's a blast from the past. And don't you know, math is so much fun. In my book, it is number one. Today's lesson is Method, that's it. Come on, you know the foil method. It's straight up for G.